Good morning, everybody. Well, I finally started building the Bedini motors and the circuits. Having a pretty good time. I've been winding my own coils, bipolar coils, coils, out of wire I've been salvaging out of transformers. They look something like that. And that. And this one over here. What I've been doing is just taking a spool, after I wind my spool or the coil, I hot glue it to a wooden block I cut with a hole saw. I pre-drill and drive in little brass nails. I label them, tape them up. This only has two leads as it's just a regular straight coil. The other ones all have four leads, as you can see there. Okay, these are the schoolgirl circuits. You can find them online. The simple school girl circuit, I believe they're called. Uh, this one here, I, I was going to measure this and just put a resistor across here. But I didn't have too much luck doing it, but on this one over here, I did remove the variable pot and the resistor and the little bulb and put a thousand uh, after some experimenting, I put a 1K resistor in there and it works real good. I'll fire up this one. The power sources I'm using on this one is uh, from my solar power backup system. This regulator goes from 0 to 12 volts. Uh, the power I'm using on this one is from uh, one of these 12 volt batteries. And this here is my charge battery that I'm charging. And the power I'm using on this one over here it's just another 12 volt battery. This one doesn't charge or anything, it just runs. Okay, I'll fire up this one here. I find on this one here, if I take this pot all the way down, she picks up speed. There she goes. And I bring the pot up just until that light goes out right there. Well, she's probably running about, she'll get up to about 1300 RPM. <coughs> On this one, I'll power it up, I'll power it up right here. This one runs about 1400 RPM on the uh, fixed resistor. See the little LED here I put on just to remind me that the power's on in case I hadn't given it a spin to get it started. I can see they're both running pretty good. My, uh, Charge battery is almost 13 volts now. I won't allow them to charge more than 14 and a half. I don't want to ruin the battery. Okay, this one over here. This is my first wheel project, if you will. It's a little wheel I ordered. Bearings aren't too great in it. <laughs> well, but it works fairly well. I'll uh, fire it up. This has got the uh, Radio Shack magnets on, the, on it, and I have some uh, fiber tape, nylon fiber in there to make damn sure that it won't come off. The, uh, I patched them on originally with just hot glue, and that seems to work quite well. Well, here we go. I burned out one of these, uh, transistors, so I put a little neon bulb from the uh, collector to the emitter to protect it. It seems to work quite well. On this one you'll note that I've got three resistors here, a 680, a 470, and a 270. Just experimenting around to see what that would run best on. And I found that as I went up it runs very good on the 270. 
I use this as just a, this doesn't charge or anything. So I just use it as a, something to play with and try on different coils. It works pretty good. my coils, my bipolar coils, I've been salvaging from old uh, equipment, transformers mostly, looks something like this, I've been using uh, 27 and 24, seems to work fairly well, uh, I've probably got around five or six hundred winds on each of these coils, pretty good. Coming up next, I'm working on a multi-coil Bedini circuit, which I must give all the credit to, to American Kittler, that's Dave. He's helped me along with it along the way. I'm using his circuit. Uh, I'll do that video next. If this one turns out alright. <laughs> now that's about it. Thanks for watching.